What common diseases are caused by bacteria? You wake up in the morning and immediately know something is wrong. Your throat is sore <clears throat> and your head hurts. Something fierce. The minute you move, you start to cough. <coughs> Just standing up causes your stomach to rumble and threaten something worse. Simple movements take effort and you're really hot. It doesn't take you long to figure out what's wrong. You are sick. Instead of heading to school, you'll be heading back to bed. This set of symptoms could mean you're headed to see the doctor too. If you've been to the doctor many times in recent years, you've probably been given medicine on many occasions that helps us to get better. Sometimes, though, the doctor might say that there isn't any medicine to treat your illness. In those cases, you just need to rest, drink plenty of fluids and daily exercise help to elevate some symptoms you may be experiencing. But it depends upon exactly which type of germs you're dealing with. Germs mostly fall into four main types. Bacteria, viruses, fungi and protozoa. When these germs enter into body, they invade cells and cause multiple infection and make us diseased. Disease can be broadly grouped into infectious and non-infectious. Diseases which are easily transmitted from one person to another are called infectious disease. Some of the infectious diseases are cold, cough, <coughs> AIDS, etc. Among non-infectious diseases, cancer is major cause of death. Let's see how these diseases are caused. The bacteria Salmolena typhi causes typhoid fever in humans. Usually, these bacteria enter the small intestine via contaminated food and water and migrates to other organs by the blood. Did you know that Mary Mallon is a classic case in medicine? That of Mary Mallon nicknamed Typhoid Mary is worth mentioning here. She was a cook by profession and was a typhoid carrier who continued to spread typhoid for several years through the food she prepared. Typhoid could be confirmed by vital test. Bacteria like Streptococcus pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae are responsible for the disease pneumonia in human which infects the alveoli of the lungs. As a result of the infection, the alveoli get filled with fluid leading to severe problems in respiration. The symptoms of pneumonia include fever, chills, cough and headache. In severe cases, the lips and fingernails may turn grey to bluish in colour. Dysentery, plague, diphtheria etc. are some of other bacterial diseases in man. Let's go through some important questions asked in medical exams. Question 1. Most common type of Salmonella found in India is Number 1. Arizona Number 2. Enteritidis Number 3. Typhi Number 4. Typhi murium This question was asked in Ames 2010. Solution. Typhi is most common type of Salmonella in India. Hence, correct answer is Typhi. Question number 2. Pneumonia is disease of Number 1. Heart Number 2. Lungs Number 3. Kidney Or Number 4. Stomach This question was asked in NEAT 2014. Solution. Pneumonia is disease of lungs in which alveoli get filled with fluid leading to severe problems in respiration. Hence, correct answer is lungs. Question number 3. Vital test is carried out to test number 1. Malaria. Number 2. HIV or AIDS. Number 3. Diabetes mellitus or number 4. Typhoid fever. This question was asked in Ames 2015. Solution. Vital test is carried out to test typhoid fever. Hence, correct answer is typhoid fever. Now you might be curious to know what are other diseases and how they are caused. So for this, visit our next video and stay curious. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store.
and get rewarded for studying.